I had a friend ask a question recently about how to isolate different frequencies for effect processing. And their scenario was they had a drum loop with a very prominent 808 kick, and they couldn't separate that loop with the kick from the hi-hat and snare. And they wanted to apply reverb to the hi-hat and snare, but not to the kick. So it could be something similar to a loop that sounds like this. So I'm gonna select this channel and I'm going to right click and let's add an effects channel to this track and I'm gonna add a reverence reverb. So now we'll listen to the track and all of the frequencies are kick, hi-hat and snare are being processed through the reverb. Now, if we wanted to isolate particular frequencies, we could use another plugin before the reverb happens. So I'm going to take the reverb plugin, slide it down, and I'm going to just open up a plugin called Imager. And there's a number of plugins that could kind of divide the frequency ranges. And I'll just use this one. The Imager plugin is intended to isolate particular frequencies and have different stereo widths. In this case, I want to just utilize two bands. So we see four bands here. I'm just going to knock it down to two bands. And what I'm going to do is to solo one of the bands. So as we play, the frequencies will go through here. These will be filtered. These frequencies will be soloed. And those frequencies are then fed into our reverb. Now, as we listen to it and play, we could just adjust the frequency cutoff here of where the reverb will pass. So if we, we hear the reverb on a kick here, we move it down. So I just want to move this up so that the kick is not being processed through the reverb. But the other hi-hat and snare are being processed. So again, we'll bypass this and we'll unsolo all the frequencies being processed. And you can use, lose a lot of the impact of the kick. But now without having to process those particular frequencies through the reverb. So if you're in particular scenarios where you have full range material, but you only want it to apply effect processing on particular frequencies, using the Imager plugin before the particular effect can isolate those frequencies for very creative results. If you have found this video helpful, please feel free to like the video and to subscribe to the channel.